I would say that, uh, uh, as I was mentioning during the, uh, the conference, uh, uh, the great strength of Europe is that when we are faced with an existential problem, we react. We had a huge crisis, an existential crisis on the euro, and we created, uh, you know, many initiatives, capital markets union, banking union. But the weakness of Europe is that one, things get better, uh, we tend to forget, uh, we get complacent and uh, we uh, forget about completing and perfectioning what has been put uh, forward. And I think that the biggest uh, challenge that we have is to fight this complacent uh, attitude in Europe now that things are getting better and really complete the initiatives that were, were put forward during the, during the crisis period. I think that we need to complete capital markets union, banking union, a half-baked process will not help us. Uh, these projects need to be perfectioned, need to be uh, finalized. I think that we have to understand, you know, uh, the nature of political risk. Political risk is relevant for the markets, but only when it materializes. I think that uh, so far what we are seeing is that in the context of the markets, uh, when they see, you know, political risk uh, getting close to being materialized in, in, in bad outcomes, they get very upset. But once things get better, they tend to, to relax. This is the nature of, it's, it's a binary, uh, zero one type of reaction. So we should understand what is the position of the market. We should not underestimate the importance of political risks, but at the same time, we need to understand that for markets where it's relevant, it's not so much the mere existence of political risk, but the, the chances that this materializes over, over, over time. I think that, that that's the nature of, of, of the risk that we are facing.